negative impact of religion psychologically and otherwise continues to be an albatross that hangs on the neck of the people of color in Africa. And something must be done to decolonize religion in order that we may indeed enjoy the dividends of our relationship with God. And if you look at the history of Africa, there have been attempts at fighting that. In the 16th century, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, what we call it now, in the Congo Kingdom, there was a lady called Kim Pavita or Donna Beatrice, who told his people that indeed, of course, debatable, Jesus was black and was a Congolese. But I can understand where Kim Pavita or Donna Beatrice was coming from. She was trying to tell the people that we should not simply accept the version of Jesus that has been brought to us from Europe and America. And when Donna Beatrice left, in the same Congo, there was Simon Kimbangu, who also came and made certain contribution. In fact, when Kimbangu died in 1951, he had already predicted that Congo would be free. He had already predicted that there would be re economic recovery. So there have always been Africans who have tried to appropriate the good aspects of religion, whether it is Islam or it is Christianity. In the Islamic tradition, we remember the activities of Uthman Danfodouye or Uthman Danfodio in the northern part of what is now Nigeria and his version of Islam trying to give it an African flavor so that it's something that is positive to the people.